Hey everyone, um, my name is Sierra, and this is going to be my first tutorial. I'm, I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can, but hopefully really simple and easy for everyone to understand. Um, I just finished a different tutorial that was on the same thing, and it ended up being like 20 minutes long, and I don't think anyone would be able to stick around for that long. So I'm going to try to keep this one under 10 minutes. So I have three photos here. This is the main subject. This is... A photo that was taken a little bit above and this is a photo taken a little bit below so I'm just gonna be combining these photos today in a square crop so I'm first thing I'm gonna do is just zoom out a little bit and then I'm going to take my crop tool average 12 by 12 which is gonna crop like this and then I'm gonna be bringing it out so bring it outside of the photo I like to try to get um, equal space on both the bottom and the top, and then hit enter. Okay, now you're going to take the move tool, which is this little arrow right here, or you can press the letter V um, if you have a PC, and then um, you're going to go to whichever photo you'd like. So I'm going to actually do the bottom part first, because that one's probably going to be the toughest one to do. I'm just going to take, I'm going to click and drag up to my very first layer. <clears throat> I'm just going to drag it here and drop it. So now you have this photo on top. So I'm probably not going to be able to see all of this space down here. So I'm just going to drag it around and then I'm just going to place it on top of where I think it's going to fit best. This probably isn't going to fit very well, but we'll see. Then I'm just going to drag the opacity down and I'm actually going to take my uh, hand tool and just zoom in a little bit to see where I'm at and then I'm going to take the move tool again and just find where it would fit best now as you can see especially over here it's not matching up whereas over here it is so what I'm going to do for this photo in particular which I have to do for a lot of my photos is free transform or warp and for this photo I'm actually going to um use the warp tool just because uh, lately I've noticed it's a lot easier. I'm just gonna go to edit, free, uh, sorry, not that. Gonna go to edit, transform, and then up to uh, warp. This creates a little box around the image and it has these grids on it. And you can just click on any of the corners or anything. And you just drag it up and it will change or it will transform that photo or that part of the photo for you so go like this and then I don't use the warp tool too often um, just because the, I usually don't have to but for time's sake I'm gonna use it okay this seems to be working out really well and as you can see there's a little bit of distortion over here now which is the only thing I don't like about the warp tool sometimes. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, that looks like it's gonna work out really good. And then hit enter. So that was basically just the part of like moving the photo onto where you want it. So, um, this is where yeah, I definitely do not want to leave it like this because you can see all the really hard edges and everything, and that's just a no no. So I'm going to bring down the opacity again, and then I'm going to click on this button down here, and it's called Add Layer Mask. And it just it's a little rectangle with a circle, a white circle on the inside of it. I'm going to click on that. Um, I don't really have time to explain what it does. Um, I might have a tutorial on that explaining how they work, but for now I'm just going to keep it simple and get this done. So you have your layer mask, and I'm just going to click on my paintbrush right here and make sure that it's on black. If you have it on a dark gray or just a gray, it's not going to erase all of the photo or all of the part that you don't want. So make sure that it's on black. Um, I'm gonna set the opacity to 100%, mode on normal, and for the brush size, I'm gonna have about 170. So then what I'm gonna do is just start painting over the layer mask, which is white, 
and as you can see it just removes the part of the photo that I do not want so I'm mainly focusing on his pants because that was the part that was bugging me the most and then I'll probably just be doing just above the rocks so it gives a bit of an easier transition but I think I want to keep the splashes in so I can always fix that later I'm just doing this super quick so I'm not gonna make it perfect or anything and also um, there's more than one way to do just about everything so don't think that this is the only way that you can do it because trust me it's not <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to bring the opacity all the way up to 100, just see how that looks. That actually doesn't look too bad for starters. So, let's see. Yeah, I'd say that's actually pretty good. Let's see, just go fit screen. And then I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit, because I noticed that doing fit screen really takes away some of the clarity for some reason. Okay, let's just see how that looks. I think that looks pretty good. So if there's any little pieces that you just want to get rid of, you can totally do that. Um, I'm doing this really messy right now. Usually I would totally be taking my time, but I don't have too much of that. Okay, on to the next layer. You're going to be taking the... Oops. You're going to be taking the layer of the sky and you're just going to drag and drop again like you did the first one. And this time for me, I think lining it up with the horizon, ugh, with the horizon is going to be the, um, the easiest way to do this. So I'm just going to drag it down and then lower the opacity again so you can kind of see through it. I'm just going to zoom in here really quick. Okay, and then I'm not sure, uh, where is it, okay, and that's easy enough for me. Um, now, I'm just going to keep it at the opacity right here and add a layer mask again. So now I'm going to take a black brush again, I'm just going to go over the parts that I want to keep. So like this. Again, I'm doing this really quick, really sloppy, because I don't have time. Of course, if I wanted to be really picky, I could make sure that the fog lines up and everything, but I'm not going to be too picky right now. Okay, I'm just going to bring that 200% again. And sometimes there will be um, a difference in the tones and the colors, which you might have to change later. But um, yeah, I'm just going to edit the rest of this fog out because it is bugging me a little bit. Okay. So then, as you can see, there's a little piece down here that's missing. Um, sometimes I'll just replace it, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to crop it up because... That's just what's convenient for right now. Enter. Ugh, there's a little white space down here. It's okay, because we're basically done. So that is an expansion. It's only three photos, so this one's actually um, really, really simple. But if you want to do a larger expansion, I might do one of those later. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you thought it was easy. If you need any clarification on what to do or how things work, you can... Um, Ask me a question in my form spring or on my Facebook page or on my Flickr. You can Flickr mail me. I have, um, I usually reply to my messages pretty quickly, like within a day or two. Um, so yeah. Um, if you also, if you have any suggestions on ways that are easier or anything like that, um, definitely, uh, let me know because I haven't been doing this for too long, the whole expansion thing. So if anyone else has an easier way to do it, let me know because, I mean, this is really easy to me, but for large expansions, not so much. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys have any other questions, I'll put the links down in the description and you can find me there. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions, I'll put the links down in the description and you can find me there.